Here we go. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for our SCAD cooking challenge. It's our first one. I'm so excited. We'll get started in just a minute. We'll wait just a couple, maybe another minute or so to see if anyone else is going to join us tonight. But thanks, um, everybody, for, for logging on. Again, this is the first time we're doing this, so I'm super excited. Let's see. Oh, I see, I see a familiar face there. Oh, hey, Daniela. And yeah, you guys feel free to interact on the chat. Um, type as we go. This is going to be very interactive. I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about what it is that we're doing, and I'll introduce myself in just a moment. Um, but yeah, it will be interactive. We've got some great scad boxes behind us, which is fun too. I'd love to hear where everybody is from. Do you guys want to type in the chat where you guys are logging on from? That's always fun to see where everybody is. I'm in Savannah, Georgia. Oh, you're in 40. Oh, cool. Olive. So, oh, so wait, we have people from Savannah. That's great. So you guys like me have been enjoying the really beautiful weather that we've had lately. It's been so nice. This past weekend was gorgeous. Richmond, Virginia. Somebody else at 40. It's been a little bit cooler in Atlanta though, probably than Savannah, but I couldn't believe how nice it was here this weekend. Allison from Georgia. All right, well, we'll go ahead and get started. So my name is Jenny Jackalard. I am the Executive Director of Admission Recruitment at SCAD, and I'm here with my husband. Hey, Nicholas Mitchell. He's also a SCAD grad, we need to plug him for that. <laughs> Graduated in graphic design, and we're standing in our kitchen that he designed um, also, because now he's a designer and project manager. But tonight what we're doing is our first ever SCAD cooking challenge. So I'm um, really excited to do that. I'll explain to you how this is going to work. So just a little while ago, we got delivered a mystery basket um, that I have not dug in yet. So we're going to have some mystery ingredients. And then what we're going to do throughout the evening is we're going to have polls. There's going to be four polls, S-C-A-N-D. And you guys can vote on our mystery ingredients that we then have to incorporate into our dish. Um, I like to think that we're pretty good cooks, so I hope that this isn't like a complete meal fail, um, but we are gonna um, just go with it, but be, be nice to us. I don't even know what's in the mystery boxes either, so it could be something crazy. Maybe pick the thing that isn't so crazy. Um, all right, so y'all, is everybody ready for the basket reveal? Cause that's, I guess, the first part, the main part. Pull it over, hon. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm not really sure what these are. Some sort of green. Do you know what that is? Okay. Some sort of green. Mustard greens or dandelion greens or something. Some jelly beans. All right. Pineapple. You're going to be in charge of the pineapple. Some Doritos. All right, and what's that? Chicken. Some chicken. Okay. All right, if there's any um, audience generated ideas, of course, get in on that. But, all right, Doritos, jelly bean, green. Okay, so I have made like a pineapple kind of slaw before, mm -hmm. right? We've done that with fish. Yep. Probably be good with chicken too. Um, we have 30 minutes, so we do have to move fast. Yeah, pineapple sauce or something like that on top of the chicken. Yeah, that all sounds pretty, pretty good. Then the Doritos. Okay, so I know something that I've done with potato chips and crackers in the past is crush them up and almost like bread them with right. them. Mm -hmm. So we might be able to do that, but we got to think about these jelly beans. Uh, maybe we can. Uh, boil do you think they'll melt? Down with some water. Do you think they'll melt? Maybe. Try all right. Maybe we'll try that. Um, all right. So let's get our pots out. Um, yeah. We'll need some oil. And I'm kind of thinking like rice as the starch because I think that we can do kind of fun rice. Mm -hmm as well. All right, here we go, you guys. See what I mean? 
Well, no, no other spices, River, but I think I think we can incorporate, the rules are that we can incorporate other things that we have in our kitchen because I'll need oil and stuff like that that I have in my pantry. Um, and maybe some other spices too. I don't know about salt yet though. I'd probably like lay easy on the salt because these Doritos might be super salty. Um, let's get that rice cooking. I'm gonna try not to turn my back to you guys very much. Thank you for helping. Um, okay, here we go. I also need this plastic bag. What I'll do is put some of the Doritos in the plastic bag. Maybe crush them up. Crush them up. If this works. Has anybody ever cooked with Doritos like this before? Mm -hmm. I would love to hear if any of you guys have done anything crazy with Doritos. Yeah, to incorporate it. Yeah, to make kind of like a crust. That's what I'm thinking. Like that you can maybe dredge the chicken in. I don't know what you guys, but it's kind of like breadcrumb, right? Like I've done it with potato chips and crackers and things like that in the past. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cumin or something like that too. Try to make it like, well, the pineapple makes it seem or feel kind of tropical or Caribbean or something like that. Sweet spicy Doritos. I haven't tried those, Lily. Well, like maybe I should. Listen, if this works, then this might be the new thing that I bred chicken with. Is this the human? Awesome. All right. Super organized in our kitchen. All of our spices are transposed into other little containers and labels. from working at SCAD, I really think a lot about design. I know like you guys who Oh goodness, okay, what is that? That's a poll. Already we got a poll? Okay. Okay, so the ingredients that start with S. Saltines, Shido peppers, strawberries, sage, Oh, wow. All right, you guys vote what we have here. Looks like shishito peppers for the win. All right. All right, well, that works. I think that's cute. That'll be good. You can chop those and put them. We have cooked those before. I love shishito peppers. But we can put that um, in the salsa. I think pineapple and shishito peppers and some of those dandelion greens would make a yummy little salsa. So let's get the chicken cut as well. I'll get it drenched in here. So in here, let's see, Doritos and some cumin to give it a real um, cooking flavor. So let's see. Sage is a spice. Yeah, it's an, it's an herb. Um, it reminds me of Thanksgiving. I think a lot of times um, in American Thanksgiving, I've used sage in like turkey dishes and stuff like that. You want to cut that in half? You want two pieces or just the one? Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get um I'm gonna get some canola. I'll get some canola actually instead of olive oil because it's burned. Okay. Um all right. Yeah, the spices with the pineapple would be good too. Like um, cumin and pineapple is good. 
I know anytime I've had, um, what is it? Like um, ceviche, which I love. I've had that with pineapple and mango and that's always really good. When you're practicing that um, pineapple, too. Do you want to put that in here? Toss that up. Get some sun. Is that sticking? Yeah. <laughs> Our Dorito glazed or um, crusted. Chicken that might happen. Alright, cut this off. Um, yep. Yeah. Okay, you want to switch? Sure. And what do you think we should do with the jelly beans? I think um, oil them. Boil them in water? Yep. All right. Do you think we should do okay? I don't think we should do the licorice. Are any of you guys like fans of licorice jelly beans? I know some people are big fans of that. Me, not so much. Maybe just like the red and the orange, and the yellow or the yellow and the orange, like citrusy flavors. Right, sorting jelly beans. How many do you think? Like a lot? I'm curious to see what happens with these um, jelly beans. I would imagine if you like, just try to melt them in a pot or put them in the microwave, they'd probably explode. Well, all right. What's this pole? Okay, now is this C one? The C box. Celery, cabbage, or carrots? All right, what's gonna win? Cauliflower. Oh, well, that's hard. All right, one of my favorite things, but cauliflower. Oh Lord, what could we do with the cauliflower? <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. You know what? Let's throw some of this cauliflower in with the rice. Because we can do. Yeah. Well, it could be cauliflower rice. It's just different than the regular kind of rice. All right, cauliflower is in, jelly beans are boiling. <laughs> and I want to put the chicken on, I'm heating up the oil there. I'm gonna do some vinegar, some squirt in there, maybe some rice wine vinegar, you think? Mm -hmm. I know. So that's kind of what I'm doing, River. I'm, I've got it. We kind of cut it sm into smaller strips. Um, and then I'm going to make a salsa. Cauliflower with pineapple juice would taste good. That's true. I've actually had like fried rice with pineapple, pineapple fried rice, and it is so delicious. Can you chop that up kind of fine? Okay. Okay, this is harder than I thought it would be. I will admit, because right when we got it to where 
We know what we're doing. You guys throw us another purple. All right, now what? Apples, asparagus, avocado, or artichoke? All right, let's do this. Avocado. Awesome. That's actually, you guys did us right that time. That's what I was hoping for. It's tropical, right? Kind of feels like it would go with it. Right, here we go. So is everybody on kind of cooking fans or do y'all just like to watch? I'd love to hear if you guys like to cook yourselves. And for those of you who are who are home right now, you might have more more time to to cook. All right, I'm gonna put some of this in here. We finally chop some of this too. And I got some of these dandelion greens. I have to admit, I don't really know what to do with a dandelion green. I've never really cooked with those before. Yeah, I think there's like dandelion juice that people juice it. Is that is that working? Well, I can put more in it. You're gonna get rid of some of the water. The jelly beans seem to be dissolving. So we'll see. Oh my gosh, it's 7.19. Does that mean we only have 10 minutes left? <laughs> oh, Daniela, you know, I've always wanted an air fryer. I didn't get one, but I've heard great things about it. I need to add that to my Christmas want list. So Nick's worked in our kitchen before in restaurants. I have it, so he's better at all this than I am for sure. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, one thing at a time. All right, I have to say, this is fun. I, I First of all, I want to do this again, and doing it with friends would probably be fun, too. Now that we're, like, living in a Zoom world, you guys might want to do it. If for any of y'all that have family back home somewhere, it might be fun to do it with them, too. I'm sure you miss some of your local cuisine so that could be really fun are, are those the peppers mm -hmm. all right i'm getting this avocado out all right here we go one more poll i hope the last one yeah it's the last one this is the d Oh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't tried that before, Lily. I'll need to look that up. Oh, Dijon mustard is. Come on, somebody else got something else. You can put a little in there. Yeah. What's in Dijon mustard? Great coupon. There it is. Did you put any dandelion greens in this already? All right. 
Pop in the dandelion greens. How's that rice coming? All right, so Dijon mustard. You put that in the um, put that in here. It'll be fine. I'll mm -hmm. put a little bit for you. What do, what do you want to do with the green? The rice. Okay. Green to rice. Mm -hmm. And cauliflower. I will play too many. You need to get a place to match. I think it's getting kind of loud in the background over there. I hope you are in the background over here with the chicken frying. I hope you guys can still hear us. Oh, a few more familiar faces on. Thanks, you guys, for joining us. So fun. All right, this is looking kind of yummy. This, like, pineapple slaw. Um. Let me check on the jelly bean mixture. <laughs> wow. Well, I can tell you that the jelly in the inside of the jelly beans is not really melting that much. It's mainly just the shell. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Might Okay, well, we only have five minutes, so I think we have to play. Yeah. Yeah. Time our chicken. All right, you guys, we're almost out of time here. And we need to get all this stuff on a plate. In the real chopped game, that's how you get disqualified, right? I wonder if we're going to have a buzzer at the end. I think we might lose. <laughs> <laughs> Totally bad looking. Can we just do one instead of cheating? No, yeah, we can do one. Slice up that cauliflower. We're almost done, you guys. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And some of this. Do we include everything? Oh. We have that. 
The jelly bean. <laughs> Let's drizzle it. We'll do a jelly bean juice drizzle. How about that? Just spoon that orange orange sauce on. Go well in our Doritos. Yes, it is the same color as the Doritos. It doesn't look bad. It actually looks pretty. Looks good. Get some on the cauliflower so you can see it. All right. Two minutes to share. We've got here. Hold on for a minute. We have got a not so terrible looking plate <laughs> of Dorito crusted chicken with rice and dandelion greens. Let's see. Sliced avocado, tashito pepper, and pineapple salsa with Dijon mustard with a yellow and orange jelly bean demi glaze drizzled on top. <laughs> well, listen, if Scad's nothing but creative, even this is maybe evidence of that. Um, I love being part of this fun community to do all of these fun things with you guys and spending time with you all. Um, we wish that everything was, you know, all on campus, but I'm glad that we all got to connect this way. Even though some of you guys are in residence halls and um, in Savannah and Atlanta, it's still really fun to connect like this. I don't know. Let's get a fork and, and, and give it a try. See how interesting this is. All right. This one will try. Yeah, this also it's got Dijon in it. Let's see. Okay. So chicken with Dorito crust. They're good. That's actually pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Rice. With the dandelion greens. And you can taste the sweetness of the jelly bean. Let's try it. Wow. It's good. I think we need an hour next time. Well, I think, yeah, an hour would have been. <laughs> felt too rushed. Would have been better. Mm, that sauce is good. Yeah. That's really good. Okay, so um, if you guys, this is, I mean, it, now we've kind of eaten out of it a little bit. And Amisha, thank you again. The, sorry, I'm not laughing. Now we've kind of destroyed it a little bit. It was prettier when we first started, but um, it's actually really good. So if you have chicken and leftover Doritos, <laughs> you can make a crust. Well, once again, thanks you guys for joining us. Thank you. We are gonna do this again. Not us, we're gonna have different um, hosts on, on next Monday, November 9th, um, again at 7 p.m. So um, if you guys enjoyed this, tell your friends. You guys can all um, get in on the fun. But have a great quarter. And again, thanks for joining us tonight. Bye, everybody. Bye.